Hi, my name's Adam, I'm a fourth year medical student. Could I check your name please? And what's your date of birth? Great. What I've been asked to do today is to come and take some blood from you. That'll involve putting a small needle into one of your veins and it'll feel like a sharp scratch. Would that be okay? Great. Ideally, you'll have an apron on for this procedure. Okay, I'm now going to put a tourniquet on. Tell me if it feels too tight. Does that feel okay? Good. Apply the tourniquet to help you feel in the patient's veins. When looking for a vein, it's better to have one that you can feel rather than see. Look for the direction of the vein. And once you've found a suitable one that seems straight and big enough to go into, get the rest of your equipment ready. Put some non-sterile gloves on. Use an alcohol swab to clean the area that you're going to take the blood from. Clean it in a circular motion for about 30 seconds. I'm now going to prepare the needle. And screw it into the barrel. I'm now going to insert the needle into the vein, is that okay? It should feel like a sharp scratch. So I'll first take the sheath off the needle. Make sure the bevel's pointing upwards. Secure the vein that you want to take the blood from and insert the needle at 20 to 40 degrees in the direction of the vein. You should feel a slight give as it goes into the vein. Then secure the barrel to the skin so that you're not moving it as you put the vacutainer on. Fill as many vacutainers as you need to with blood. Again, fixing the barrel to the skin each time you remove or replace the vacutainer. Before you take the needle out, remove the tourniquet, get some cotton wool, cover the site of the needle injection, remove the needle, only putting pressure on once the needle's out. Then get the patient to hold the cotton wool or gauze in place for a minute after you've taken the needle out to catch any bleeding. Thanks for letting me take your blood. To complete the procedure, I'd fill out the patient details on the vacutainer bottle and make sure the blood sample is sent off to the labs for testing.